Gotcha. Yeah. This is a lot of balls in the air. The top of the white, Southern Wesley at end of the blue, and off we go from Salisbury Warrior with the opening possession. Tough finish that time for Cooper. Still run. Cooper lobs it up for McLeod, who finishes with one hand. Yeah, McLeod is that guy who missed a couple of ball games a few weeks ago. Dude, yeah, Dunlap finds ways to score. Similar to Cooper, not quite as big, and obviously not as experienced. For next what they did today was get the good shot. You can't have these turnovers and create for an offensive pace. If you just scored and then turn it over, there you go again. Second dunk from McLeod, showing his athleticism. He has four. Basket, off the bounce. Another three. Basket has become one of those guys that you can depend on. Knocked away and stolen by Matthew. Great defense that time. Hit ahead to Cooper for the reverse layup. You want to know what a great possession is on defense? That's it. You stop the guy from driving, you get the And take it away down the cloud. Numbers for Katama, streaking down the floor is Whitford. Very unselfish play. Get on the floor, get the loose ball, then run your numbers, get a three on two slick speed. Cooper, inside to Whitford, and he has four this afternoon. See, I think tonight's going to be a night where Katama's going to have a lot of success. Indians with numbers again. It's Cooper. No look to Lilly, and a chance for three. Man, probably. Haskin hits another triple. And that's the great recognition there. Takes the basketball in the middle, swing it to the opposite side. Out to McLeod, he'll fire a three. And hit. Wow. Look what I found. They don't get a lot of three point baskets out of McLeod. I think it only made. Coach Pascal wants to see improve for his team. Tend to shoot for Gataba. Lily to the post. And a friendly roll for Matthews. Facilitating. Maybe a heat check that time for Lowry, and the Indians want to push the pace. Cooper, a transition three. Yes. Inside out, side to side. You get some. Rob Heron talks about how many jump defenses his team has seen. There you go. And, and an easy bucket that time for McLeod, who has a chance to complete the three-point play. Well, I don't think there's anyone in here that can guard McLeod. That includes myself, because he does a really good job of watching us get the ball one-on-one, -on -one, elevates. He create. This is from 15. The cloud back up and another chance for three. Cloud could have a really, really nice season. Averaging 11 points in the shade under seven rebounds. This direction plays, but it all leads up to that mid range. A cloud with wow. the hammer. 14 from a cloud. Elevation is so quick, waste very much assist. Drive in there, cut the baseline. You know, you got a big guy driving in. <laughs> Zamana. And gets the shooter's roll. You can see him able to score, you know, you know that hack in the paint. They say, okay, good time, what you got? Lily. And a chance for three. Good job, D. Now watch this. You gotta take the baseline out. Actually, that was cool he didn't do that. But nevertheless, recognition and you take it strong. He spent 30 to 35 minutes every practice shooting. He said that he really wanted his team to start shooting the ball better, especially from the three-point mark that came into this game shooting. As we said earlier, more comfortable going inside than out, but can finish. Cooper, tough finish wow. as he hits the deck. Oh, you know, we're going to you. And, oh, and you can talk Ooh. about that if you want to. <laughs> Say that. You know, after you finish, watch this elevation right here. There's a foul right there. Grab it. That's a nice play. Okay, did he hang? Did you get him for the hang? No. So he's just out to Haskett for three to tie the game. Cooper lobs it up for Constantine. Wow. Wow. This is what the controversy is. Watch this. Watch Constantine. You cannot use the basket or the stanchion to aid you in a score. Got a follow away jumper. Won't go. Offensive rebound, Lilly for the two. And this is where I think if you're a good team. Southern Wesley has missed a couple of threes. Zamonic, extra pass, and the hammer home by Whitfield. What's a foul? Off the rebound, run. Very unselfish to pass, and then the finish. Never have I seen this year more vicious, quicker dunkers 
than these guys from Catawba. Zamonic with the right hand. Nice move. Look out. Ah, <laughs> tough jumper for Zamonic. A team that's not very deep. That could come back to hurt. Out to Matthews. Four, three. That was right at us. That's the other way. Yeah, very good job. But like, just scared you. Just not able to get any offense fluid. And Lily with the bucket. Lily. We've had a lot of success. Now, now turn it square and score. He did. There you go. Cooper. Pass it in the corner. Four, three. There you go. Five point swing. Seven. That's a nice defensive set. Coast to coast for Cooper. And he's changed basket. And Catawba wins their fifth in a row. Nine of the last ten for the Indians. And it wasn't always pretty, Stan Luter, but a 94-87 win for the Indians.